Hey, 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 welcome back to another Tech Support Spy video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Always like, comment, and subscribe, and tell others about Tech Support Spy, and share this video with others. Help us grow this channel. Help us to get more subscribers. And guess what? I have more than 200 subscribers. Isn't that wonderful? I have a date with Lisa. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Coming to America is one of my favorite movies, and Coming to America 2 is actually a pretty good movie, too. It's not one of my favorites, but it's actually a good movie. And I've always loved Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall in Coming to America. Now, have you ever wondered uh, what would happen if your identity was stolen? Have you ever wondered, like, what can you do to prevent your identity from being stolen? Well, think about this, right? Imagine this, right? You have a situation where you come home from work, you get out your car, you see your neighbor outside, you know, he's watering his grass and he's admiring how his grass is more greener than your grass, right? And he's like, hey, Jerry, I heard you got a Porsche 911. And you're thinking in your head, like, I don't have a Porsche 911. I can barely afford my Honda Civic, right? And your neighbor's like, hey, hey, you know, my buddy down at the Porsche dealership said a guy with a gangster name came into the Porsche dealership and, and bought a new Porsche 2052 Porsche 911. And he said his name was Jerry Montana. I said, that's my neighbor. And you're sitting there thinking like, I didn't go to the Porsche dealership. I didn't go buy a Porsche. Again, I can't even afford a Honda Civic. Like, why would I go buy a Porsche? And as you're thinking that, you hear your neighbor, the 2052 Porsche 911, I don't even think they made those yet. And you're thinking in your head, no, it's only 2023. Why would I buy a 2052 Porsche 911? Right, and you're thinking in your head, like, what is going on? Then you find out, you contact the Porsche dealership. Somebody with your name and your identity came in and bought a 2022 Porsche 911. Not a 2052. Your, your neighbor was kind of jealous of you hearing about you purchasing a Porsche 911. He heard Jerry Montana. <laughs> he knew it was you. And then they come find out, yes, someone did come into the Porsche dealership, purchased a 2022 Porsche 911, and is now driving around town in a Porsche 911 with your name on it. So think about if that were to happen to you, how would you deal with it? And how would you pre prevent that in the future? I'm going to show you how you can get a free identity theft monitoring service. Well, guess who has a free monitoring service? Well, uh, I won't say it's free. <laughs> You're still paying for something, but there's no additional charge for a free identity theft monitoring service. And it's Microsoft. Microsoft has a identity theft monitoring service. If you are a Microsoft 365 subscriber, so if you're paying that yearly charge to use Microsoft Office 365, you get a chance to have the Microsoft Identity Theft Monitoring Service. So we're gonna talk about that. Uh, stay tuned, and I don't have any jokes. I'm just getting right into the content. I hope the Jerry Montana <laughs> joke made you smile, and uh, I got nothing else to say. Let's dive into the video, shall we? All right, so let's talk about this. So if you do have the Microsoft 365 suite, Again, that Microsoft 365 suite, you know, includes like cloud applications for like Office Home, uh, not Office Home, sorry, <laughs> uh, Office Word, Office PowerPoint, Outlook, Excel, right? Those miniature applications uh, uh, that you use within Office, right, 365. So Office 365 is a software suite, but within that Office suite of Office 365, you have individual programs like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Outlook, right? So you can use those applications in individually within the Office 365 suite. So uh, there is an app called Microsoft Defender that is an app that can be downloaded and it can be used on a Mac, can be used on an Android, it can be used on an iPad, iPhone. It's mainly a 
security program from Microsoft that kind of works as like a firewall. It kind of helps prevent viruses of malware to get onto your computer or onto your device, whether it's a, a iPhone, iPad, using the iOS or a Mac or a PC. And it's an app that you can download and it's different from Windows Defender. If you are familiar with Windows Defender, you know, Windows Defender is the security suite or software that comes with your Windows 10 and Windows 11 uh, PC. And I believe Windows Defender came with Windows 8. I can't fully remember. Somebody tell me if it came with Windows 8 or if it started with Windows 7. I can't fully remember. I have to Google it. But Windows Defender is basically your default firewall and antivirus security suite that comes with your Windows computer, whether it's Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows 8. Windows 8 is obsolete right now. But Windows Defender is separate from Microsoft Defender. Microsoft Defender, again, is an app that you can download to help defend you from viruses or malware getting onto your computer. I'm trying to find the app here. I can't spell worth a darn here. Microsoft <laughs> Defender. There we go. It's an app. I can open up the app um, and sign into the app. And for you to use this app, you have to have a Microsoft account, number one, right? And number two, you have to be a Microsoft 365 subscriber. So Microsoft has to know under your Microsoft account that you're paying yearly the $69.99 or the $9.99, whatever subscription fee that you're paying Microsoft for, for your Microsoft 365 to use those office applications and other microsoft applications and when i mean other other applications it might be like OneDrive or some cloud applications but majority of us use microsoft 365 to use the office programs such as word excel outlook and so forth so long as you have a microsoft account and you are paying a yearly cost of microsoft 365 and you have a subscription you have access to the free identity theft monitoring service. So let's take a look. So let's talk about this. I'm not going to read this whole article, wherever word, different areas. I'm going to just kind of paraphrase, but paraphrase. But when you look at this, right, it talks about how Microsoft, this is from uh, the support.microsoft.com website. <clears throat> it talks about getting started with the identity theft monitoring in Microsoft Defender. So it talks about, we've partnered with Experian. Experian, and if you know Experian, Experian is part of the your credit report agency, right? You got Experian, you got uh, Equifa uh, Equifax or Equifax, I can't remember. And there's a third one, uh, I think it's TransUnion. I can't fully remember all three credit bureaus, but there's three credit bureaus, right? And Microsoft is sure they've partnered with Experian to bring world-class identity theft monitoring to Microsoft Defender. Defender's identity theft monitoring consists of four major components. Dark web monitoring, we'll talk about that in just a second. Credit monitoring, 24-7 restoration support, and identity theft insurance. So you get some money back if you end up having your identity stolen and you end up losing some money because your identity theft, uh, or because your identity is stolen, you have insurance that would give you that money back. Combine these functionalities allow you to monitor your own identity details, as well as your family, for breaches on both the public internet and the dark web. Keep track of attempted identity theft and fraud. Get expert support when you need it the most, and enjoy the peace of mind that you're covered for up to one million U.S. dollars in identity theft-related costs as well as up to a hundred thousand us dollars in lost funds so it's basically telling you that hey with this microsoft defender identity theft monitoring service you have insurance and again you're not paying an additional cost for this if you are already a microsoft 365 subscriber you're already paying for the usage of microsoft 365 plus the microsoft defender which has that feature for identity theft monitoring service. So, uh, talks about the dark web. How does dark web monitoring work? It just talks about how your personal data can be breached. And if you're not familiar with the dark web, the dark web 
is kind of a, a, a another internet that you can't access off of Google. There's no search engine to access the dark web. You have to use, you know, special uh, web browsers to access the dark web. I think DuckDuckGo has some features that allows you to get into the dark web. I haven't been on the dark web. I do plan to go out there and kind of just play around and see if I can get out there with, you know, certain security features to keep me safe, hopefully. Uh, and the dark web basically is a, a black market on the net. You know, uh, your, your identity is breached, sold over the dark web that people can buy your identity and go to the Porsche dealership and get them a 2052 Porsche 911 in your name, right? So, you know, it's kind of like the, 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 the dark web. It's kind of like the black, black market. You know, people can go on the dark web, sell weapons, do illegal activity, use your identity and purchase a, a, a Porsche 911 if they want to in the dark web. And you can only get to the dark web with certain browsers. And again, you can't get to it from like just Googling it, searching it. So that's basically what the dark web is. It's basically a black market that's on the internet. And what the service does, the dark web monitoring can monitor these personal details, your email address, your passwords, your full name, date of birth, social security number, national ID, driver's license. It gives you the whole details of what the service will monitor on the dark web. Right? So then it talks about how does the credit monitoring work. It talks about how the credit monitoring consistently tracks the state of your credit file as well as an, has any attempts to associate your social security number with a new address or identity. Whenever any potentially malicious activity occurs, you will receive an alert with the exact details of what happened, when it happened, and who the party involved in the activity is. So basically it's kind of keeping you safe. It's letting you know that, hey, Someone's out here trying to use your identity to purchase a, a, a Porsche 911, right? It's making you know or letting you know that someone is out here using your identity to use your credit to make purchases. How does the restoration service work? Well, check this out. It's actually pretty neat. In case you'd like more help after following the recommended next steps for either dark web monitoring or credit monitoring alerts, you can contact Experian 24-7 Identity Theft Monitoring Support for Microsoft Defender customers. Remember, in order for you to access Microsoft Defender to use this Identity Theft Monitoring Service, you have to be an Office 365 subscriber. Uh, those customers can contact or call 1-833-533. See your number there to speak to a restoration expert who can guide you through the process of addressing the breached details or credit issue and even provide full service identity restoration services in the event an identity theft is using your personal details to commit fraud. So you're probably wondering, like, how can I get started? Well, you can start by either downloading an app or you can go to mydefender.microsoft.com We'll talk more about that here in a second, and you just basically just follow the instructions to get started to set up the identity theft monitoring service. You can also add a family member to your identity theft uh, monitoring service uh, for the dark web. How will I get notified? Whenever a piece of data you've asked us to monitor, either for yourself or a family member, is found to be leaked online, you'll get an alert. On every device that you've signed into Microsoft Defender on, the alert will also appear on the into the Microsoft Defender dashboard and the alerts and history page in Defender. So you'll be able to be notified when there's some type of suspicious activity surrounding your identity on the dark web. How will I get notified of any credit activities? Whenever we detect new activity on your credit file, you'll receive an alert on all devices, sign into Microsoft Defender via email and show up on your Microsoft Defender dashboard as well as in your alerts and history, similar to the dark web monitoring. So basically, you'll get some type of alert, probably something in the lower right corner on your PC or some type of email letting you know, hey, we've seen some type of suspicious activity. You might want to check this out. And it talks about how do we protect your data when you add a piece of information to be monitored we securely transmit that info to Experian. Microsoft doesn't see or keep your personal information. How to report problems and make suggestions. We rely on your feedback to help improve this feature and we encourage you to report any issues you encounter. 
please submit your feedback through the app or portal by selecting your user icon, then selecting help and feedback. And of course, you can give feedback to them. So it talks about uh, the rest here. Uh, I do want to see here, uh, I think this is a good portion here. So it talks about features available in the United States and U.S. territories. Credit score is a single bureau vintage score 3.0 provided by Experian. The main, the monthly credit report is provided by Experian using single bureau data for users under the age of 18 or those without a credit history. Credit score not included. Family organizers will not have the ability to onboard view and receive alerts related to family member credit monitoring. So it lets you know that, you know, when you add a family member to your Microsoft 365 identity theft monitoring services, right? You, you, you add Uncle Bob, right? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you won't receive any type of credit monitoring alerts for Uncle Bob, right? Uncle Bob is separate from you. You won't receive any alerts about any activity that's going on with Uncle Bob. You only receive the alerts about what's going on with you, and you don't receive anything from Uncle Bob. <laughs> your, device, your device's primary display language must be set to English. And then the second part of this is that the identity theft insurance is underwritten and administered by American Bankers Insurance Company of Florida and insurance company. Please refer to the actual policies for terms, credentials, and exclusions of the coverage. So I'm not going to dive into that. But I just want to let you know that Microsoft is offering you free identity theft monitoring services through their Microsoft Defender app. And you have to be a Microsoft 365 subscriber. So you have to be paying that yearly balance to use Microsoft 365. And you have the ability to initiate this identity theft monitoring service under Microsoft that's no additional cost to you. And again, the Microsoft Defender app, you can download it for your Android, your Mac, or your iPad or iPhone and be able to use it and get this identity theft monitoring service free if you are a Microsoft 365 subscriber. So this is all I have for you. Uh, I will end up doing a video for how to set this up. And if you want me to do this video on how to set up the, uh, the Microsoft Defender identity theft monitoring service, comment below. You know, I don't plan to have this video out next week. I may do it in two, three weeks, who knows. But if you want me to have this video done sooner than later, comment below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to, my, to Tech Support Spy and tell others about this channel. And as always, I appreciate you watching this video. Help us get to 270 subscribers so we can give somebody a $100 Amazon gift card once we reach 270 subscribers. And thank you for watching. Tech support. Bye.